What's up Average Dad fans? Thanks again for tuning in for another update on my fitness slash weight loss journey. So this is the end of week one of my muscle food summer slimming plan. So the week for me runs from Thursday to Tuesday. So that means I eat the muscle foods plans Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's right, yeah, six days. So I have one day off. Today is Wednesday, so this is actually my day off. But I did start the day uh, with a little bit of a stretch workout and then I had a carb killer protein bar. Now, I've obviously finished all the food that I got from Muscle Foods for the week. So I went on to the Grenade website and purchased two boxes for £40, which is like 24 bars, which seems like a lot of money. But in supermarkets, they, these carb killer things are still like £2.50 a bar. So anyway, I had one for breakfast uh, and a small glass of milk. I'm planning some pasta and then a high protein with lots of veg for dinner. So effectively what I'm trying to do is stick to roughly what the muscle foods plan is for the other six days. I'm not going to go out and I don't recommend anybody should go out and just have a cheat day every week. You have a cheat meal, don't have a cheat day. I mean, that's kind of going to negate any good work or a lot of good work that, that will happen um, throughout the rest of the week. So, uh, stats wise, if you care, I <laughs> am ashamed to admit that I came into this challenge weighing 228 pounds, which is around 103 kilos, somewhere around there, and 16 stone five or 16 stone six for you UK watchers. Far too heavy fat, basically. So at the end of week one, I'm personally pleased to say that I am 225. So four pounds in a week, that's really good going. So that's a couple of kilos. Um, really happy with that. How did I get to that? Well, I stuck to the muscle foods diet, which not diet, muscle foods food plan, which is around 1500 calories per day um, and three forms of exercise, heavier exercise and a couple of light. So what I've done was I've done two 5K runs, two HIIT classes, and then a couple of days of stretching. So it was six days of activity, but two of those days were, were really just rest days. And then my day off, which is the seventh day today, I'll not do anything, I'll go for a walk. It's like three heavy, one medium, two small, if we're talking food. But I'm not, I'm talking exercise. If you're still watching, hit a sub button so I know that you have all the patience in the world to um, tag along with me. Again, usually I do tech videos and unboxings, reviews, so talking about myself and weight and diet isn't something I'm used to doing. Back to it. So exercise done and food stuck to pretty religiously. Now, I have to be honest. On day one, that's last Thursday, I was struggling. And I think anybody that's been used to having their full two and a half thousand calories, particularly the two and a half thousand calories I was in a day, which consisted of biscuits and, and it wasn't good calories, it wasn't healthy calories. So on the Monday, I did have some Jaffa cakes on top of the muscle foods plan. Um, second day, day two, I uh, started to feel a bit better. And the reason I had the Jaffa Cakes on day one because I was feeling really hungry. Your body can't suddenly go from like full two and a half thousand calories to dropping a thousand calories. And I had added an exercise there. And that's another important thing to note. I'm trying to stick to the 1500 calories per day, including my exercise. So I'm not adding. So I think each hit workout was like 400 calories at burn, three, 400 calories. I'm not adding that to my calculations for the day. I'm still sticking to the 1500. Most people, and I'd probably suggest that most people do add it in. So if you do a 400 calorie workout, that then means your 1500 total for the day is 1900 because you burnt all that off. A lot of people do it that way. I'm not, I'm trying to be strict. I want to lose weight quick because I've never been so heavy. I'm ashamed. Um, can you notice a difference facially, body? Can you notice any sort of difference? Probably not. Let's be honest. 
So what's happening today? Today the Muscle Foods order arrives. It should be here very soon. And I guess we'll just use the magic of YouTube and skip straight to the food unboxing. Here we are then. Um, week two's food has arrived. Now I actually had a couple of meals left over from week one mainly because I didn't plan properly and the chicken and fish fillet went off. Yeah, that's my bad. So I'm gonna pop it right in the freezer straight away as soon as I open the box. So yeah, um, exact same order as last week bar a couple items I swapped out. But yeah, muscle foods, food working so far. I think you can see Try not to breathe in, but I think you can see there's a bit of a difference. Um, but baby steps, I've still got oh, a stone and a half that I want to lose, so we'll see how things go. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's been it. It's been my very short but sweet update after week one. These videos aren't going to be all too exciting. I'm not Matt Does Fitness, although in two weeks' time in Scotland. Damn all you other people that have gyms open just now. Been two weeks time in Scotland, excuse me. Gyms will be open, so who knows? Maybe I'll film some workouts and eventually get some like form a bicep or something. Who knows? But um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. Subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. See ya.